Okie dokie, we are in Northreach and we should investigate. You like that, don't you? But first, always pet Torgal. There's nothing else more important. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then? Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's yeah, she should definitely know something. Does, if you're all sharing a room... So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've oh. already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. That's not... You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Tell me That's more. Like Garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatian. And picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Yeah, let's go there. To the well, barracks. I suppose. But he seemed... Uh, like, not a good man. Jealous and like a stalker? Mm. Doesn't bear well for Tatian. favorably. To the veil, then, is it? What do you think? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Most likely. Okay, let's go tell her then. And also tell her how much of two assholes those two men were. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiane, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. 
The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Okay, so the people of this Moor village or whatever it is do not like bearers. Well, nobody likes bearers anyway. I've been treated like Bertrand shit. Bertrand was a loyal patron of the Vale until his appetite exceeded his means. Now he is loyal to me. Well, that's good. Your friends are my friends. How did one of them get on this side of the gate? <laughs> they be talking about me, right? Oh, yeah, they are. But maybe because I'm handsome. Did you even see my face? These crystals can totally are disregard only. the brand. It's none for the lights of you. <laughs> Guys, I don't even need crystals. But I'm not gonna show you my power. Because you'd be scared. Probably run off crying. Telling everyone I'm a deserter. This is so beautiful. I think like... This is one of the games I've been like just watching the scenery. Because it's so freaking beautiful. They did a great job. What? Who goes there? <laughs> Stay down! I don't think I'm gonna go investigating this way, not right now. There was a tower there. That I want to go to first, and then I'll head off that way. Cape Orsier and a watchtower there. A watch. Looks like some fallen ruins over there as well. Let's first go to this tower. Maybe it holds something of importance. Get him. Hmm. Okay, I really do like Willow Eyes. We're like completely stunned. Get him, boy! And also, it absorbs damage. How freaking good is that? It's gonna be so useful, especially with a lot of enemies around, or even if it can be used in a boss fight, when you know there's gonna be like an excruciating attack, it's gonna be very useful. But I think Heatwave could also be good, especially in a boss fight. Because when I used it in training, it looked like you could like... Disrupt some of the attacks like coming toward you and you could like just break it. An Imperial Watchtower. Should be well stocked. Oh, with items? Oh, <laughs> well stocked with enemies. Wait. Let's take these flyers first. Get him. Don't want anything above our heads. Sick of trouble. This is so good. They ain't even backstabbing me because they can. Are you enemies approaching? You know what? Oh, we have more flying creatures. Fine, I get aim on them. Sick of toggle. 
so much like it looks so easy for him he just kicks up the enemy and slices them with his sword it just looks so fun animations are what do battles cool Demon Tamer's sash. But first... <laughs> Horgal wanted some pets. That's why the icon appeared. We're gonna say. Uh... Oh, it's a little bit better, but... I don't think I will switch it out. Yeah. It's not... Too much better. Anything behind this tower? Nothing. Okay, I think we're actually gonna go to the right here and check what's over here. And also at the watchtower there. And just go all the way to that cliff thing. And I do see, like, there's a fallen ruin over there. So... There might be something of importance. We're just gonna head over there quickly and then get back and do the side quests and then do the main mission. Give me something good! Two gil! Okay, I'm not gonna say it anymore. Whenever I get two gil, you're just gonna see it on my face. What are you playing at, Brandon? Yeah. Get him, boy! Watchtower. Probably enemies here as well. Since it's a watchtower. Yep. And that looks like an astrologer, so we're gonna take the aim on him instead. Come on. You're not welcome here. There we go. Yeah, I know I'm not welcome, but you guys probably have loot, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm just here to rob That's you guys. Good job, Torgo. It's the world you know of Every time I use Garuda, I'm just so much reminded of Benedicta. I so wish to just get her back. Get him, boy! 
I really, really liked her character. Like, why did they just let us let us befriend her? We could have her in our party. We could make her good. We could make her believe in 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 our. What was I gonna say? In our cause. Exactly, in our cause. I mean, she just seemed lost. But she totally had feelings for, for Sid. And he probably could have... Could have talked her down. But she seemed a little bit too determined. A little bit too loyal to Barnabas, which... What the frick? Why would you be... Why would you be loyal to him? Like she said, now that she wasn't... Now that um, her powers were sucked out by, by Clive, Barnabas would just throw her away. She said that herself, so she knew he was not loyal to her. He totally just used her. She was so stuck on still being with the Walloon gang. You know what to do. And Sid. Sid really didn't like Barnabas. Since he's also from Walloon. He said something about like. Barnabas being delusional, like crazy. Yeah! We've still uh, got a lot to learn. Yeah! Cause we haven't, we haven't met him. We haven't had like any interaction with him. Yeah! So we don't really know what he means by what he said to Benedicta. Yeah! But I'm just gonna believe everything Sid says. And I said it. It's not because he's handsome. It's because he's very wise. And he knows a lot of stuff. He knows a lot about the mother crystals as well. Did this Avis have more HP than the other? Yeah, I think so. Of course, I mean, it's, it's level 21. But then I also do more damage now, so... Is that one? Yeah, my wounds There we go. What is that? It looks like something from the Fallen. Oh, it looks exactly like the training tablet that we have back at the hideaway. It does, doesn't it? Maybe it can be activated. Like in the same way. Life just touches it. Let's check it out. Oh. Can't do anything? Okay then. Then what are you here for? Okay then, let's just go back. We probably have a lot to do. But first the side quest, then the main one. Oh, there's loot. Mm. 
when there's enemies taking care of it. So it better be good. Since you all be protecting it. This look a little bit like hyenas. Get him! You know what to do, boy. Stay down! I'm just waiting for them to like laugh like in Lion King. Kill bug. Well, I can sell it all. Oh, oh, huge drop. But no drop. In health? Okay, okay. Clan, you do you. Can we drop here? I don't know. Maybe from here. Yeah. I don't want to kill you. But he did that drop damn good. He didn't lose any health. Very, very good. Oh, they have a blue chocobo here as well. Or more like blue-green one. But it's called a bluebird. Oriflam, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? I think it's too many. You see it too, then? It's not just me bleary eyes playing tricks on me. If you mean the wave stopped at full crest, then yes, I do. How could I miss the bleeding thing? These are huge fields. That's enough for today, Branded. Go on. Back to the pens, we are. I need you fit for the morrow's harvest. I'm already getting triggered. Already getting so darn triggered. That's enough dallying, you two. Then what are you doing? You're just standing there doing nothing anyway. Who are you? There's still work to be done. The frick are you raising your fist? Hell, I raise my sword. Fight me instead. Oh my gosh, this guy. You want to fight? Fight me. You heard me. Shift your asses. Oh my God! These rude ass bastards. You branded here now. Uh, what you want? You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. Why aren't you? All right. That's weird. Where is he? My, I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. Why aren't you doing anything, the father of the child? Hmm. Very responsible of Some you. Of son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Mm, that's what I was right saying. Here. I need to oh. be careful. Oh, okay. Clive, you're... You're smelling something. Okay. So you think this it's might be like a ploy? Me. Not if I can help it. It didn't sound that... That scared. Stay back. I'll deal with this. It was like, oh, the wolf is going to it's eat me, fun. and I'm gonna die. So, they are either trying to trick me into doing something like this, like killing the wolf. Or the voice actor is just bad. Like, try to sound scared, but I think it's... 
a trick because Clive said so. Something smells. No! You aren't supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said Jeez, you this attacked. game. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Oh, I will give you a whooping. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Horrible. Someone needs to so this is their fun. Before it happens again. Yeah. Don't like that one bit. Oh, that's so sad. Sorry you had to see that, Torgal. Let's see what this freaking idiot has to say. You, Brandy, come here this instant. I will slap you across the face so you fly How to a dare loot. you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. <laughs> oh, that wretch would be the dame. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that one because he is not gonna reply well at it being me, so... That unlucky <laughs> wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how it do you think be. those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this Branded's head clean off his shoulders. Hmm, and I hope it's not an obedient one. It's a wolf. I'm wasting my oh. time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. Oh, that's so sweet of him. Oh, How that's many so bearers sweet. Have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport. Don't even want to think about it. Clive is such a caring character. The best protagonist. The best. All victims of the nobles' games. Huh? You must be Clive. And you How are? How do you know my name? The Dame. I'm oh. in her service. Like yourself. Right. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. 
Is that what you're here and to do? And they look young, too. The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. We need to do something. We can't let them do this again. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here... More bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. They got a Wolves good wolf. Not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's mm -hmm. nest two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. Me neither. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. Well, I'm not really upset about the father, but for the child, he's only a product of the father. That's what he's been fed. The hate was all from his parents, probably, and everyone around him. If he would have been set to another place with other like parents that wouldn't have this kind of hate, then he would be different. Oh, it's only a bloody, bloody spot here. Yeah, so the child could have been like relearned. Like, reprogram. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I'll help you look for this animal. I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Right, let's find this little animal. Is it a dog, a cat, a sheep? That's a lot of Where field to search. But with a little luck, someone might have seen her. So, white fur. Let's check with this lady. You work these fields? I need to ask you something. Hmm, a branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have Idol branded underfoot. 
Well, I didn't want to speak to you anyway. Search for Chloe. Oh! A dog. Chloe? But it's white and brown. Maybe it's another one? More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that... What? Someone napping oh. on the job. I was thinking I it's a dead body because... So pale. Maybe it's someone sleeping or it's a dead body. Oh, dead body, it seems like. Inspect body, yeah. The crystal curse, it seems like. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? No, what? she didn't. Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? No freaking way. But why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew what you were the slap favorite. I would give. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, you tell her. Don't, don't say that. You it's tell true. her. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... I hope you learned something, kid. Good speech. Very good speech. Hopefully you did something. I'm... Horrible. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Chloe. Okay, good. Seems like you got to her, Clive. Very good. Sorry you have to see that. Fetch! Have some candies. Here you go. <sighs> Let's check over at this windmill. There might be some loot. And then I think we're done with the side missions. Look at this gymnast. Woo! Everything's so easy for Clive. Yeah. We're done, all right. Up! The law are you! I wanna beat you too. Oh, let's go to the gates first. I wanna see if there is some kind of loot around here. There's probably gonna be guards. Probably. I hope Not they much don't. chance I'd make it through the penitence gate without someone recognizing me as a deserter. Sid had better I was have a plan. Just about to say that. Maybe someone will think you're a deserter and will be thrown out. Two guards? Okay, three guards. Oh, we have an obelisk. Look here, men. This branded would be so bold as to seek passage into our holy capital. Were he accompanied by his master, we might be compelled to grant it. But alas, he is alone. And the law regarding masterless branded is clear. 
Unless he wishes us to take him into custody, I suggest he return to his owner immediately. Or we could just fight it out, Speak you up. know, see who's the strongest. I swear it's the gonna gates be are me. Closed. Look here, men. This branded would be so bold Bye. as to Bye, watch me as I leave. Our holy capital. Were he accompanied by his master, we might be compelled to Oh my god, so rude. Okay, watch my back. He is alone. <laughs> That's the only thing you're gonna get. Since I couldn't just give you a little beating. Ooh, loot. There's some wolves here that I need to take care of before I get the loot. Get him! Sick of Toggle! If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Yeah. Pull that clean, you good for nothing slackered. Then do it better yourself, lazy woman. <sighs> There he is. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only one's been seen quarrelling with a soldier. Is he still here? The traitor? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Good to know. Well, to this trader then. Let's just check what this I merchant has. Sell or be gone. Or be gone. Yeah, well, I don't think you have anything that I want. Except for this Literally. one. Should I buy it now? I sell mm. or be gone. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll get a better one. Or maybe I can just go back here and buy it, if I need it. If I'm gonna use Heatwave. Because <laughs> I didn't buy the ones for Garuda. And I use Garuda quite a lot, so... What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you for... <sighs> Lower your voice. At the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique it most certainly was not as i told him nevertheless he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal i stood firm however and for all his bluster he still purchased a new comb albeit an inexpensive one and do you know where he went after that 
My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. I'll tell her you weren't a hassle. So, let's just go, Clive. Oh, who's this? You are a fortunate priest. to have fallen into the dame's good graces. But her influence wanes the further you stray from Northreach. Remember that, my wayward lamb. The only one who's been decent to me. Okay then, to the ruins. Why did he have her comb? It smells of death like, here, Togo. Is he stealing? Wolf. You can't let them get any closer to the village. And why he said it smells of death? Something or someone died here. Oh, I see now. You know what to do, boy. Uh, get him. And it looks like the brothel's dress. Sick of toggle. So I'm thinking that is Tethian's body. Get him. Get over here. My wounds, boy. Sick of Toggle. Stay down. Now let's check the bodies. It didn't look like only one. Oh. Damn it all. Bodies. A man and a woman. Oh, that must be Tatiana and Yannick probably, or another man. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. The comb. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to see every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. I couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to Moor for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <sighs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? Yeah, yeah crazy person. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell her. Well, well, well. 
Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatiana by. Yannick, you stupid man. Tatiana would have been alive if it weren't for you taking her to this dangerous place. And then also being jealous of her with other men. Does he not know she works as a brother? Like, does she not know? He not know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well, let's just speak with Isabel in more and see what else we have to do. Maybe she'll ask us to run another errand or hopefully we're done here in more. I don't like it here. Not one bit. Oh. The Vale North Reaches Premier House of Companionship. While it is frequented mainly by Sambrex nobility and military, Lady Isabel welcomes all with the desire and the coin to partake of the pleasure her skilled courtesans and courtiers offer. Few establishments in the empire are as well loved or as oft visited. Okay. Well, at least they have men also. It's not just women. Uh, more. A farming village located in the rye fields of the royal meadows, not far from the Sambrek capital of Oriflam. Her residents harbor a strong hatred for bearers, more even than elsewhere in the empire, making it a very dangerous place to visit for those who bear the brand. Oh, we know now. We know. Not gonna come here anymore. If I'm not gonna go by that heat wave. Uh, slave masters. Those who own and manage bearer slaves. A bearer must always obey the orders of his or her master and are largely forbidden from acting independently, even from speaking without express permission. When it is necessary to relinquish supervision of a bearer, such as when dispatching one on an errand, Masters will often affix the emblem of their house or business to the slave's clothing, that they are not mistaken for an escapee. Oh my god, this is so horrible. I hate this. Good thing it's in our cause to help bearers. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Do I look like a deserter? They should be talking about my handsome face instead. If it was a mess. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased yeah. to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, oh. but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then. Long story short, she's... <laughs> I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Mm. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Well, she really seemed to care about her workers. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Vale counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. 
According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. So... At the chapel, but first, pet Torgal, because we just had the icon there. Okie dokie, gather at the abandoned cha chapel. It amuses me that Sid would choose a chapel for your rendezvous. There never was a more unrepentant soul in all the realm. Oh really? <laughs> well, now we're it's going my there turn. anyway. Let me try. Come on, give it back. My dead body. Kids, out. give Come me that. Me. I could sell that for pretty much. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. The dame said you would be coming. Your friends are waiting at the chapel atop the hill. Go now. Thank you, thank you. I hope they're waiting for me with food. Because Clive, we've had no food. And I'm gonna eat after this episode. <laughs> What is this loot? Can it be something? Nothing good. Better than two. Hmm, this is a cozy looking chapel though. It looks nice. Oh, we can't enter there. Then let's go the back way. And see where are my favorite people. <laughs> my husband. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am. The deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Hmm. Okay. I see you have a plan. Ooh. Like the music. So, where are we? Ooh, nice! The pleasure houses? Is this the back door? Mm, yes, he said. It's <laughs> really so awkward here. I would be too. Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. But no one would know we're here, right? We just bought their silence. Huh. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? 
And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the helmet, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools and the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us care. to die when our bodies are spent. Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Ooh. Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried. Nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comfort? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. <laughs> Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh my gosh. Okay. Focus. Well, I don't really need to focus because I'm gonna go to the hideaway. Just check if there's some kind of things I can do before I go there. Uh, like, talk to Gab? We're counting on you. You and Jill both. Hey, mm, there's nothing really on the map. Might just take a look around anyway. Wanted to send a message. <gasps> Cooper, what happened? Is everything now, all right? My research can continue no. apace, and when my fertilizer You're here, <laughs> but not a yummy nut in sight, Koopa. <laughs> So cute! Look at this cuteness! Oh my god! Oh, it's so chubby, so cute! Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. So thank you all for watching and bye bye!